It's no secret that Boston is experiencing rapid gentrification. And this issue affects primarily people of color who have lived in these neighborhoods for generations. Imagine growing up in a community, and as the years progress, your favorite restaurant closes down, new flashy buildings are constructed, and the places you used to know are no longer around. Gentrification affects those who are the most financially vulnerable. This semester, I interned at United Self and Settlements, a nonprofit whose mission is to harness the power of its diverse community to disrupt the cycle of poverty for children and their families. UCS has been around for over 125 years, but it's not immune to the financial challenges of the world. And its future is not secure. And they had to make the difficult decision of selling their Harriet Tubman house in order to continue to provide services. On Monday, there was a community meeting to discuss the proposal of building residential art studios with 70% affordable units and the first will be left as a community center. And I expected to see some yelling, some testimonies, some progressive demands, but instead I saw a group of around 20 to 30 protesters chanting, chanting on megaphones, people before condos, and shame, shame, shame. And I wanted to be on their side, but I felt like their energy was being misdirected because USCS the work that they do is super important with their STEAM program and their coaching program and everything they do at Camp Hill. They were so focused on disrupting the meeting that they missed their opportunity to push the developers for a progressive space that they could claim as their own. Gentrification, like most issues, is multi-layered. It's easy to think about everything we're against every issue, every flaw, every injustice. But what I learned this semester through College of Social Innovation is that if we want to create a more equitable world, we need to unite together and work towards common goals. Sometimes we need to yell. Sometimes we need to vote. Sometimes we need to just engage in dialogue. But we need to use our anger to fuel our passion to address the issues instead of attacking it. So I challenge you to deconstruct each problem and to think of a better method on creating change.